Hi there, and welcome to this JCTV newscast. I'm Ashley Domino. On October 8th at 7 p.m., up in Level 2 of the NAFIS Center, there will be a distracted driving program presented by the Convocations Committee of the University of Jamestown. A 35-minute film titled One Second to the Next, commissioned by major wireless carriers, will be shown at the program. It is about the impact that texting while driving can have on the families of victims and the drivers themselves. After the film, members of the Jamestown Police Department and Jamestown Area Ambulance will be speaking on their own experiences with texting and driving. With the government shutdown comes the shutdown of many things that we are used to being open. Due to the government shutdown, all national parks have been closed. This includes the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., which has been guarded to keep visitors out. This decision is being reconsidered for open air memorials because the groups of veterans that have been denied access are considering addressing it with legal measures. Many people from the group said that they believe the Obama administration is trying to make the shutdown as painful as possible for American citizens. Humans are not the only ones being affected by the government shutdown. Any animals in the hands of federal government will only be receiving minimal care. Research programs are being suspended. There will also be no one monitoring wildlife refuges for illegal hunting and trapping. Without funding, the USDA will not be able to inspect places like puppy mills and zoos to ensure that they do not go against regulation and keep a good environment for the animals. Bismarck Emergency Management has come up with an idea to help people in emergencies when they cannot call 911. The largest of four carriers have agreed to provide texting to 911 services by May of 2014. Mike Dannenfelser, communications manager, says that the service will be beneficial in some circumstances where it is not convenient to talk. It is good to remember that it is also always best to call and even better to call from a landline when in an emergency. Monday Night in Bismarck, reports began coming into the State Game and Fish Department that a young bull moose was wandering in the northeastern part of town. Bob Timian, Chief Enforcement for the Game and Fish Department, told Bismarck Tribune that young bull moose are often pushed out and expand territory while looking for mates in the fall. He also commented that if there is a danger, the moose is provoked, harassed, or otherwise disturbed. If the public safety is threatened, officials will have to take forceful measures to ensure public safety. Three area school districts will soon be receiving and learning with new technology paid for by grants from America's Farmers Grow Rural Education. Jamestown Public Schools were given $25,000 and Carrington and Edgeley Public School Districts were given $10,000 grants. Schools were nominated by farmers in each area, which was followed by school officials writing proposals, which were then reviewed by educators and an advisory council. A total of $2.3 million in grants was given to schools nationwide. All grants were targeted toward math and science departments. Jamestown's grant will be going towards 30 new laptops, a printer, software, and professional development training. The next three days, we will be seeing some wet weather. The high for today is 57 with a low of 39, precipitation at 20%, and humidity at 59%. Tomorrow will be much cooler with a high of 43 and a low of 32, precipitation chance all the way up at 70% and humidity right up there at 78%. Saturday will be a few degrees warmer with a high of 46 and a low of 28 degrees, precipitation at 40% and humidity all the way up to 72%. This has been Ashley Domino with your daily JCTV news update. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.